Hi guys! So today I'm doing a nighttime skincare routine and I think I have combination skin. I have dry spots and then I have oily spots so pretty much it's combination skin. Um, I used to be very acne prone. I would get like three to four pimples at the same time and it's horrible. Now I know that there's a lot of people that get way more acne than I do but I still don't want three pimples on my face at a time so I consider that acne for myself. Now I'm not a dermatologist so I cannot give you guys professional um, advice or suggestions for you guys to do on your skin but um, this is what I do and has been working for me so I will get started to show you guys. So normally the first thing I do when I get home is to take off my makeup because it can clog your pores and it just will not do well if it keeps sitting on your skin. So what I do is I take off my makeup with these Neutrogena wipes. Now I have the ones in the box but you don't have to buy the box. You can just buy the refilling packets. But this is what I use. It's the Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelette. After I remove my makeup with those Neutrogena wipes, I usually will go in the shower and just totally shower and clean even more of my face, which is the only part that I can't show you guys because I cannot film while in, in the shower. In the shower, I will wash my face again, and the product that I use to wash my face in the shower is this little tube of facial cleanser, and this is by St. Ives or St. Eves or whatever you want to call it, but this is just a little jar of it. Usually, they come in a little tube, which is like a squeezy tube that looks like this but um i use this so much that i actually thought the jar was a lot cheaper and it has way more product in there so this is what i use and it's a bit wet because i just took it out from my shower but it's just like a really big paste that you just stick your fingers in and then you can just wash your face with it this is very very harsh exfoliator so if you guys like soft and gentle ones this might not be it for you but for me i like to actually exfoliate my face really really harsh and rough so um that's the way I like it and I think it works better when you are kind of using hard elements on your face. If that makes any sense at all. I know it's not good for your skin but it makes me feel better about myself so this is the one that I'm going to stick with. And then also in the shower a step that I cannot show you guys is putting a mask on. So this is a really easy, really simple mask. It's the clear pore cleanser or a mask. So basically you can use this as a cleanser which means you could use it daily just to wash your face or you can leave it on for 5 minutes and use it as a mask which is what I do because um, all my shampooing and my conditioning and even just body washing takes me 5 minutes so I might as well have a mask on my face while I'm doing all of that and I use this about once to two times a week. Once I'm out of the shower I will come back into my room in front of my makeup desk and I will remove even more makeup. So when I come out, I will remove more makeup with this Neutrogena oil-free eye makeup remover. Usually what I would do is take a little cotton tip and I would swirl it into the bottle and then just clean off excess um, eyeliner or mascara that might be still in your eyes. Sometimes if I'm using a really good eyeliner, that really will not come off throughout all the process of my Neutrogena wipes or even cleaning in the shower. I will take a little cotton pad or a makeup pad and I will just put it in and then soak it on my eye like this. Now on to the actual skincare part. What I do first after I remove every single trace of makeup is I use this Essentials um, Deep Cleaning Toner and this one is by Clean and Clear. This one is for the sensitive skin because this does have alcohol in it and it has salicylic acid because it works on acne too. And I really do not have that much acne anymore so I want to make sure my skin stays hydrated and doesn't get too dry from um, this toner so that's why I picked the sensitive skin one. I don't have sensitive skin but it still really works. The thing about this is the smell is really strong at first, you're not going to get used to it. 
Um, I remember when I first used it, it just smelled like straight up alcohol, like rubbing alcohol, and it wasn't something that I really wanted to put on my face. But um, I covered my face on. But I pretty much covered my face. But I pretty much covered my face with moisturizer afterwards, so the moisturizer kind of covers the smell of this. But um, it's really alcoholic, that smell, and I, that's not something that I like on my face. But it's been working pretty well, so I'm going to keep using this and probably don't need to try another toner because I like this as it is. After I put on toner, I like to put on eye cream, and I put on a lot of eye cream. So the first kind of eye cream that I use is this Yes to Grapefruits um, Dark Circle Correcting Eye Cream. And this is what this little tube looks like. You can buy this at Sephora, at drugstores, or at Target. It's definitely going to be cheaper at Target. So if you guys want to give this a try, Target is your first place that you guys should go. On top of that eye cream, I also like to use this Benefit eye cream. This is the It's Potent by Benefit. And it just comes in a little pot jar like this, which reminds me of like an apothecary. I don't know, I'm weird like that. But this is what it looks like. Again, this is one of those products that you have to put your finger in to um, put it on your eyeballs. Um, some people don't like that because they think it's unsanitary to keep digging your fingers in there. But um, for me, I make sure I always have clean hands and I don't have... Um, but for me, I just make sure I always have clean hands before I put them in. So that's been working for me. After all that eye cream, I will finally put on a moisturizer, and this one again is by Clean and Clear, and it's a dual action moisturizer, which means it moisturizes the skin, and at the same time it battles and prevents acne. So I absolutely love this, and it smells fantastic. This is the moisturizer that I was talking about that covers the smell of the toner. This smells absolutely fantastic. I love this stuff. For the nights that I can see a little acne growing on my face or a little bump that can transform itself into a giant zit, this is what I will use on it. Now, now this thing, I'm not sure if you can buy it in the States because I got this when I was on vacation. So, um, this, I don't even know the name or the brand of this. I guess BRTC is the brand. Um, but it's a blemish control system and it's a purifying mask. So what you do with this, you're supposed to use it as a mask, but I leave it on overnight and I use this pretty much as a spot treatment. So you can... So you can see in the little clip that I would insert that I pretty much just put it on the spot that I really need it the most. And that's about it. I just sleep overnight and then tomorrow morning I will just wash it off my face and it works extremely well. This is one of those products that will dry up whatever zit or bump or pimple that you have. So absolutely awesome. because. it up so give this a try if you guys can find this on ebay i will attempt to look for it on amazon and ebay or whatever website that holds this and i will put the link down below in case you guys want to see it for my scars that have not faded away i use this on my scars and this is the pavonia botanica botanica yeah pretty sure i just killed the name but um i tried but this is what I use, and I know a lot of people use this brand. It's kind of pricey. It's definitely not a brand that you can find in the drugstore. And I don't even think Sephora has this. Again, you have to go on some like beauty website to find this, which I will attempt to find it and link it below. But this little tube cost me $74. But fortunately, my mom knew someone that worked in a salon, so she gave it to me for a little bit of a discount. So I ended up paying $60 for it. But it actually still is a lot of money for a little tube of thing like this. But um, this is supposed to be a lightening mask, which again, you're supposed to use it as a mask all over your face and wash it away after 20 minutes. But for me, I put it as a spot treatment on the little scars that I have. And then I usually leave it on overnight and the next morning I will wash it off. So that is pretty much my nighttime skincare routine for acne prone skin. Um, this is a lot of products that I'm going to use. I will link some of the most important ones down below so you guys can find them and check them out if you guys are interested. And that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!